See? See what I'm saying? You see what I'm saying? Now everybody is talking about James Dolan today and how James Dolan is, you know, with Spike Lee, how he harassed Spike, making Spike go walk around and not letting him into his seat and all this nonsense. This is some old James Dolan tactics. This is what he does. He's mad about something Spike has done. So now Spike is not going to any other games anymore. He's not going to the remaining games, Nick games. This is somebody who's had season tickets forever. And this is going to be bad press, real bad press for James Dolan. But here's the thing. Did you ride for Charles Oakley? I don't feel sorry for Spike one bit. Because you should have been, you should have been, You should have been the same way they was for Oakland. What is Adam Silver Slipper going to do? Now, I said it for years. The New York Knicks treated Spike Lee like a mascot. And you let them treat you like a mascot for all those years. But it's funny to me, as soon as something happened to them. You see what I'm saying? As soon as something happens to them. Now the world should be in an outrage and the world should be all up in arms. But you weren't like this for Charles Oakley. You didn't ride for Oak Tree. You went to the game. You ain't go to Dolan and say, hey man, this messed up with you and Oak Tree. You sugarcoated it and went back and you went to the game. You went to the game. I think he was even on first take or somewhere and was like, well, they got to come to another degree. You sat there and sugarcoated it when he brought Larry Johnson, Spreewell, and sat them all down there next to him to show, like, look, see, I ain't bigoted against blacks. Look at these two coons I brought out. And they need to, they sitting there like they need the money. After Larry Johnson stole like 30 to 40 million dollars off the New York Knicks. <coughs> With that back injury. He was getting paid $2 million a year for like four years he was out of the league. What, five, six years out of the league, he was still getting money out the Knicks. But everybody's crying for spite because what happened was a travesty. Then he's like, you going to do me like my man Charles Oakley? You going to do me like my man Charles Oakley? Yeah. They're going to do you just like they did Charles Oakley. James Dolan don't care about people. You already know he's a weirdo. 
the staff are not even allowed to make eye contact with him. He'll fire them. If you make an eye contact with James Dolan and you work there, he'll tell his security to fire you. You saw he got mad at a fan who told him he need to sell the team. He was, you, you just told me I need to sell the team. You're not, yeah, yeah, you, you're going to yeah, get him out. Throw, so you're throwing me out for saying you need to sell the team? Yeah. <laughs> He's a weirdo. He's always been that way. Tried to get Zeke to show me he was a good guy. He got Isaiah in there and then basically blamed Isaiah for everything. Then tried to bring him back after the uh, the fake claims was made against Isaiah. But he had to be the scapegoat. They brought in Larry Brown. Larry wasn't really coaching. They weren't going to hire another coach. So Isaiah was forced to go out and coach the New York Knicks because they spent all that money on Larry Brown. They had found a way to, to screw Larry Brown out of the rest of his money and didn't pay him. And they blame Isaiah Thomas for that when that came from up top. When the Knicks, when Reggie Miller had that game where he went off and the Knicks ended up losing, everybody blamed Spike Lee. It's in the front page paper. Spike cost the Knicks the game and possibly the series. And that game made Reggie Miller's career. That got him to superstar level. They went to Indiana. The Knicks didn't do anything special for Spike. James Dolan didn't do anything special for Spike. They let it become like a public lynching service. All these crazy people in Indiana. They got all these pictures of Spike and go home. It was some people there with a rope. They took that from people. Uh, took those signs down, and they act like they were playing against Spike Lee. And it's a shame that Dolan sat there and let this whole thing be on Spike's shoulder. And like he said, John Starks had the game of all games and just whooped on the Indiana Pacers that game. And they went back to New York. Now, everything included, you know, you're looking at somebody who's an elitist. Um, you know, Donald Sterling act like he was just a lone gunman. He had friends. He, he said it in the video. Nobody paid attention to that. All you got to do is go through his track record of friends and know who he's talking about. And everybody act like they don't know the guy. Oh, I was never friends with that guy. Wasn't me. Well, somebody was his friend. Jerry Reinsdorf. Somebody was this guy's friend. Now, what is James Dolan going to do after the fact? Hmm? What is James Dolan going to do now? That's the bigger question. Because you can't right the wrongs. 
what's done is done. But I want to see what Adam Silver's going to do now. Spike Lee was the biggest staple that they had who they looked at and treated like a court gesture. And he let them. Spike was the Knicks. Now that he's gone, or he's not going back for the rest of the season, for his seats or whatever, I don't know what's going to happen. Is Adam Silver going to get involved? There's too many incidents involving Mr. Dolan. Something needs to be done. It's reached a point of critical mass. How many more times somebody got to be harassed? How many more times? And this, these are not like fans. This is not like some somebody. These people play for the organization. These people are celebrities. Spike Lee is a Oscar winning fame director. This dude's just at the Oscars. You kidding me? Charles Oakley played for you. And all because you are a bitter, bitter, pitiful man. These are the things that comes out of it. So, I'm getting out of here, man. I want to say thank you guys, man, for supporting the page and hitting up the cash app. I appreciate that. Um, I might end up closing Streamlab because nobody seemed to want to use the Streamlab anymore. So, I might just close that out. Uh, the Carcino for Life podcast is running. So, definitely check that out. Uh, Soke, John Hogan's, Sammy, my man Charles Pittman, I see you. You know, uh, Derek, thank you guys, artists, and a lot of others that I can't even name that have donated to the page and hit up the Cash App. I really do appreciate it, the love and support, man. So, um, yeah, I'm out. Man, don't forget to hit the Patreon up this week. This week we will have some Whitney Houston up there. And we will be going into Soldier Slim. All right. All right.